Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gents, to another Quad Trader's Guide to Algobox. This is going to be part two. And of course, if you missed out on part one, I'm just going to say, hey, uh, pause the video right now and go watch part one. You're going to be a little bit lost because I did some notes at the very beginning and talking about kind of what we're looking at, what we're addressing, and some important topics along that. So watch part uh, part one first, and then we're going to continue on because, again, we had so much content to cover from this week. And let's get into that because we have got a ton and of course if you haven't followed us already over here on facebook and skip on the twitter hit us up on instagram of course here on youtube and discord if you're wondering what we're looking at here tonight where do you get the information that we're looking at it's in our discord the link should be down here below in the description so let's come on down here into the training window and go into some more of those reviews we were talking about in part one and we're going right into it here tonight in part two so starting with uh, Tommy G putting in right here on this one. Why don't you guys take a peek at this screenshot. This is a very nice um, harmonic to harmonic setup on the Mac V. He said last trade of the morning session for him. It was confluence on all charts. What does that mean? That means he's got multiple things coming in on those charts. He said audio box. So audio box, if you have not been in on our audio, audio box stuff, Go watch part three of the Flowmaster series to understand how the audio parts work on that so you can hear the sound and the aggressiveness of the tape. So he's got the sellers coming in at that location as well. Um, but how to get in there, right down here into the E-mini trade floor. Just click on that button and you can come to hang out there for free and check that out if you have not been in there before. And then he's talking about a double cross reversal on the threes. Now, unfortunately, Tommy, ah, Tommy, I'm going to give you a hard time on this one. Always include that screenshot. Show us a screenshot of the threes at the time. Um, but he showed us this screenshot. I think he was showing that it's a pretty big play here for him. This is only on four contracts right here at this point. He's up $840 on this trade. Very, very nice trade coming in here. But he had multiple things coming in for him. And I believe the double cross reversal came up in this location. But we didn't have a screenshot of it. So uh, make sure to include those when you get a chance. Uh, Tom, if you can put those back in the room, that'd be fantastic. But this is a beautiful play set up here off of the mid filter all the way down and again doesn't look like a very big play here but it is remember this is on the 13 range here so on 13 that's 13 ticks per bar and you've got one two three four and this is like the fifth bar in that series that is a very very big play here and he's trading this all the way down look at this nice setup he's got it coming off of the cypher mac v turning red down here and then he's holding it all the way out to his target right there with the gold p p r z for the target well done on this play setup and there it is going all the way into it finishing off that trade into that prz on the mid so we'll start out with that one very nice one there from tommy uh, we've had some fantastic results here from our members there we've got uh this one that he said he missed from kc that is a very nice headshot coming in there with a green headshot on king timing plus He's showing right there with that extra delta for the flush. Very nice play to the upside on that one. Wanted to show that one as well. And at that point of the day where we see it's early morning, 785 for him on that one. Very, very nice. Vinny, uh, let's see. Vinny in the video said you had your GCC on the upper left-hand corner. Would you be willing to share your chart setup for that monitor? Yes, I can definitely do that. I'd like to emulate your latest and greatest layout exactly. So... Um, he's talking about me in my, again, go watch the previous video, the one right before this one, part one, where I am laying out the setup for my, my own current charts, how I have those set up, um, versus kind of some of the other folks who have theirs. And again, I focus on the entry charts on having them a little bit larger for myself. So I get that pinpoint entry location and all the action that you need to be moving and adjusting your stops and targets comes in on that lowest time frame on the ripples. So how do I set that up? I can definitely talk about some more of that on the he's asking about how do i combine the crude oil and gold into the same uh in the same window so my top left monitor up here gc and cl i have both of them on there and they are on tabs so i i share them between tabs i could push them over to my far left monitor up top but again this is one of those where i, I trade these so infrequently there's just it's so slow right now that I've got them combined and I will include my uh, my setup for that in the trade room. So hop into the Discord chat and I'll put that in a section on the left hand side on Vinny's um, hardware and software setups on the left hand side. We'll definitely do that. 
Uh, Brandon said, took a straight earlier, but wasn't able to post until now. He said he had Delta plus a green headshot and double king timing. So let's take a peek at that one. That one sounds really nice. All right, so Delta. Oh, yeah, look at that monster Delta back behind. I don't know that that Delta applies, though. I believe he said Delta. Be careful on that one. Did he say Delta? Delta plus green headshot, double king timing. Okay, so on that right there, that's a little bit far away. So be careful on calling that with Delta. However, if you are looking for a reversal coming in at some point, I can see how he's saying, like, okay, I'm kind of getting ready for a big play set up here. But he's using this information. But again, be, if people are a little bit confused on to where and how that occurs, uh, you really want to apply that more to this location. And obviously, that wasn't a big plush turn yet. Um, and it could have been time of day. What's our time of day here? Is that two? Yeah, two o'clock. So he did see the Delta flush. It's okay. I'm not going to take too many points away from you on that one. But, you know, a great headshot coming in there with a uh, that double. Yeah, you've got double dot. You've got the blue green a little bit too far away from each other to give it a double dot there. But I see what you're looking at there with the power scenario. You've got the cross set up, and hey, it's a great place to go ahead and try to take a shot. You've got the crossover timings here on large, and we're pushing up into the king. Very, very nice play there for you. Just a few contracts, eight, and you're on your way. That is a very nice play for over $1,000 trade there on that one. Is this coming in the twos? Yeah, ES. Ah, and this is the ES. So again, these are getting you're getting paid out. $12.50 a tick on that. So very, very nice play on that setup. Excellent. And there is the finisher exiting on the pink dot, I'm assuming, right there. Very, very nice. That is how it's done. $1,500 on the day for you. Awesome, awesome work there, Brandon. Appreciate you sharing your setup with us. Let's go into, we got one from Rick here. They said, y'all might like this one. There was a Delta flag plus a moon. And a moon, uh, for those of you guys who are have questions around that, that is the same thing as a white cross, okay, on just different setup for different time frame. Delta flag plus moon, red PRZ, shark, shorts favorable on the Algobar fives, added in on the short position along the way on the ripple twos, exit on the green shark back on the ripple fives. All right, let's watch this one play through. He's got a whole little video for us on this one. Let's play this one through. All right, so I'm looking over here on the left hand side, starting with my filter right here in the middle, right? You got the range. He's got a big red shark. Here, that's what he's looking at for that. He's got the shark tail play coming in on the fives. That's why he was talking about with the moon. Again, some of you guys might have the crosses on there, but that is the same thing right here as the as the crosses. So we've got that uh, that boost there, and now we're coming on down. Again, target one should be right here at the front of this shark box there. Let's see if he plays that out there. He said he started to add more on his two, so let's watch now on the lower time frame twos on this one. This is a little bit of a longer video clip, about uh, four minutes here. So I'll push it forward just a little bit here. Plays coming down, looking good. Going all the way. Let's see how he manages this position. Trade comes up. He's adding to the position. Adds again. Got Delta coming in right here. It's not on the King, so you can't just immediately add, waiting for a setup. I'd be looking for a cross right here. There's a red dot. So there's a spot where you can add right there on the red dot. He's a little behind on that add, but I'll give him credit for it. Okay, reaction time in gaming, right? Press that button, you see that red dot? Add to that position quickly. Okay, that costs you every time you miss. Okay, he's adjusting his stops, getting the stops back behind the previous red dot, the one on you that he just recently added to. Here comes target. Oh, it turned at his target. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Turned right in front of his target there. Okay, he took some off there. Not too many. He just grabbed off one because he was like, ah, oh, that should have hit that first target. Yeah, and it was probably because he was a little bit behind on that first entry. He probably realizes that, at, or not that first entry, on that last entry there on the red dot. Probably realizes he was a little bit behind on that position before he went for it. Again, I would be waiting for a cross. I want to see a cross play. That would be where I'd get really exciting. 
No crosses, but oh, so close again. Look at this thing teasing his targets. He's seeing a blue dot come in here. He should be taking off half his position here. Okay, oh, there we go. He's starting to take him off. There's his white cross. Got to be very careful now. Oh, that is a headshot. That's the end of your play right there. Let's see if uh, let's see how he plays that. So I'd be exiting the rest of the position right there. I might only leave like two contracts on in case it breaks, but this is the time to exit that position. Oh yeah, see it pushing up on you? Okay, he dumped most of his position. So let me, I don't know if you guys saw that. He did dump a lot of those. Uh, he did it with the button. So you guys might not have seen that, but uh, so right here, he did a good job. Again, he should have, he definitely needed to have done that. As soon as you get that headshot coming in there, he's still got 10 contracts open. You need to really start to evaluate that position when you've got that much confluence about the move in the other direction. This is where we could actually initiate a position to the long side. Because look on top of this, it also had Delta come in right there. So Delta plus that, that's going to be a nice exit there. Again, you put nice play all the way down and in. This is the place where you want to take the most off that you got. Maybe leave uh, one or two contracts on for a runner in the event that it smashes down and goes farther. Again, looking with the, the bottom of that shark box way down here for your finalized target on that. But you got blue dot over here, blue dot right here. You got a headshot here. Again, I might be initiating a position almost to the long side here with this. There's not a huge delta. If the delta was about this size, then I would for sure be initiating a position. But I would be definitely exiting that spot. And you might have a few more ticks out of it because this bar is not completed over here on the on the wave chart. So 31s, it's maybe got another few other ticks out of that bar. You can kind of tell on that bar. But this is a spot where you want to pull the rest of that position, in my opinion. And he did. He ends up, he's switching. You can kind of see him switching his ATMs there on the right. You barely see it. He's going naked orders to close out the positions there. And that's what he did. So he's leaving two, very smart, good. So he got down to only two. Oh, he did do it, he did, well done. I didn't realize he had dumped all of them, very good. He dumped the majority of them, he left two contracts on. Uh, you know, can't fault him for that. Let's see how the rest of those two. Then he adds to it on a broken bunny ear, awesome. So here, here, comes the, uh, here comes the break of that green dot, bunny ear play, see if it goes all the way down for him. There it goes, there it goes. Excellent. Targets filled. Targets filled. And all the way down to the bottom of the back of that shark back. This is an excellent, excellent play. Oh, that was fantastic. Loved that one there from Rick. Well done, sir. I got to give you props on that one. Mad, mad props. Very, very nice. All right. So some of my plays. Let's talk about uh, some of these setups. I uh, tried to label these a bit here as well. And what do we got here? Delta King, order up, smash it. Okay, pretty easy. There's the one, part two right there. Big fat Delta right there on the King. And of course we get that short and there's your exit. I mean, easy breezy, not too much to, uh, to, to have to explain on that one. Should be semi self-explanatory on that. Um, what's showing on this one here? Okay, this is another play from previous. I just wanted to point out all the things that were coming at us. I think I wanted to turn this into a pop quiz to take a peek of one of those like, all right, what all do you see here? So here is the peak trap right here for the J-hook. J-hook play, target one, target two, all the way down to target three. They're fully completed out. Then by the time this sucker completed out, then what do we got? Gigantic Delta coming in right here. Part two for the entry, there is the uh, the PRZ that we want to look for with crosses to the left. Very, very nice play for the move all the way back up. Amazing little setups in there. But the things to pay attention to, J-Hook and Massive Delta telling you something is coming. We're looking for the long side after this. If this was 11 o'clock, let's look to see what the time was. Let me zoom in. So Beast Mode Hour is going to be 11. That's where we really want to see plays like that. Now, this is really around 2 o'clock or so. So... Not the ideal time would have been even better for those holds for the entire day if it landed around 11 o'clock. But this one was two o'clock at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. You know, go check out that screenshot. Good one to save. I put those in those sections on the left. If you've not been in our education section here down on the left hand side under education. Um, where do you go? That's premium members only. There we go. Education. So under the education topic on the left. Each one of our strategies is listed here, and there's everything from details to lots of examples, and I include these on the left-hand side for each different type that we did. So that was the Delta King and J-Hook, so those are in those appropriate locations. 
Okay, here's a little GIF image action. We've got Delta King plus the cross short entry on that one. Oh, I can't zoom in and let it do its thing, can I? Can I do it? open the original? Is it going to let me do it? Nah, won't get much bigger than that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So big double Delta set up right there, right? Part two, what am I looking for? I've got just a cross here for the setup entry uh, to get that short. And I'm looking for just a target right down there. Again, not trying to get a big play out of something like this because I want to see more than that coming in on a play I like this. This is pure Delta King. I had King timing right there. Um, I was behind on it, didn't catch the Delta King, but I entered, added on the, the cross setup right there. Again, didn't go huge on this. You know, this is only a four contract trade. It's not like I'm gonna like go all in on a position like this, but good enough for a nice play there on a King Delta. Very simple play setup, one of my favorites. Uh, very easy to roll with on that. Um, what did he say on this one? Strat order of operation. He's got one labeled with the that red. And then red, one, two, three, four. Um, I think he might have been explaining strat order of operation. Hmm. Not sure about that one, Franklin, but I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on this one. <laughs> I like that you're trying to label this stuff up, and I don't want to say try and you label this all up, but I, I feel bad because I don't know, don't know what all you're showing there. I apologize. Um, I'd, I'd love to walk through that one though. Okay, KC, now I'm done for the day. Vinny Money over 4K. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Across um, his multiple accounts there, 1,628 in the other. Very nice job there for KC. Alien Killer, 540. Amazing, amazing work, sir. Uh, let's go into my next example. Um, are these stats? Franklin's got a short trade going in here for is that double cross. Yeah, double cross, double move play, getting a secondary shot at it. And here's his stats on the day. 3,200 for Franklin. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. I couldn't tell what he was labeling, but hey, I love it. Profit factor, 5.64. Winners, 5.64 times the size of your losers. 87% profitable. Uh, yeah, that's, that's nice stats there, brother. Love it. Excellent work. Um, we talked about that one. Let's go into this one. What do we got? Flowmaster, Delta, Delta, Delta. If I have told you guys, have I told you guys I'm a fan of the Delta? Uh, yeah, I think so. Very nice Delta here. I'm going to take a little shot at it. Look at this thing. Just continues on and on and on and on off of just Delta. Just kind of show an example here of how powerful that Delta is with our system. And Flowmaster Delta, absolutely crushing it. Not to be confused with other Delta systems that are out there. If you guys have seen Delta, I feel like it's one of those overused terms. Um, but there it is. Okay, that one we already went over. Let's go to our next one. Delta King short entry. Is the same one we talked about from before? I think it is. Delta King cross gold PRZ targets down below. Um, it's not, is that the same? I can't really tell. I think, yeah, this is the screenshots. Okay, these are before and after screenshots. And then I turned it into a GIF. That's what it was. Okay, very simple play there. Delta King then got the cross short entry. Again, if you got in on the Delta King, you can enter in, toe in the water right here, add to position right there. That's the proper way to take this trade. And with a PRZ target right there, that's how you play this out. Not a bad trade, uh, but wish I would've gotten a little bit bigger on that. Should've been about a six or eight contract trade. Only went four because um, I didn't get the entry on the Delta King. Alien Killer said, I marked up a trade from earlier. My thought process is, this is an entry you would take. So he's asking, is this an entry I would take? Not the matrix at the time of trade. Okay. Strong down move at the open. Extreme short Delta. Okay. Uh, remember, that's called a Delta flush. They got flushed there. Um, that does not indicate that they are necessarily shorts. That they're, you know, that now that indicates a short position. But he's indicating this. Now, enter long on the double. Yes, so they are flushed right here. Remember the term here, you should be thinking they... Is this move gets down, did they get flushed and are we moving up? That's what you're looking for to confirm a trap move, okay? Enter in on the double dot, definitely a plus for sure, double dot. Then a headshot form to add to that position. Yes, well done. And then exit runner on the red dot. Uh, yeah, results plus 10 plus 39 ticks. I'd say, uh, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So asking if I would approve, uh, yes. And well done on those labels. Absolutely, yeah, uh, perfection. Super duper set up there, sir. 
All right, let's take a peek at the next one I got here. So study this reversal at the Delta. I'm going to discuss this in tonight's video. So I wanted to talk about this. This I've seen a lot with our Delta. So when, when we get, uh, so the question is uh, that, that we've gotten a lot is, hey, Vinny, well, how do I know when I get these big deltas that like, how is this not going to be a gigantic reversal? So it's, it's a good, it's a valid question, right? Any one of these at any moment can flush and push to the other side. It's about how far it's going to go. In a scenario like this, what I am looking for in a trap, a trap should then on the other side, you're going to have good big delta flows in the opposite direction after you get a set of the opposing color. Okay, So right here, we've got a set of deltas to the left with a big flush inside of the King PRZ, um, which is going to give us our big reversal move up. And then look at the big flow after it. You see that right there? This is the indication right here is you get multiples to the left okay tap 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 big we start to make that move up so do you, if you want to know whether or not this is going to continue down because you're worried about well i don't know those are kind of all semi the same size because we have this big i mean that is a monster green delta flip on that this means we are likely looking at the trap position this that on this side is now trapped and these guys are coming in to push this thing on up so i want to talk about that one in this so hopefully that is clear look for what what are you looking for the big giant delta after the standard shift colors coming down in one direction and then the big flip right there this is the big flip right uh we'll go over some more of those in the future but i've got that one down in the um in that section on Flowmaster to kind of study up on this so there's part one and then looking for the king shift and then part three to see them continue to push that to the other side and we're looking for the longs on the opposite side not looking for continued reversal down okay. uh, let's go to the next one um what do we got here i was calling the knife catch bounce multi time frame confluence long so starting over here on the wave look at that beast right there so we've got the uh i can't tell which kind of harmonic that is it looks like a cypher so PRZ is in play, up to finger coming in here as well, right? And then we've got another PRZ coming in here with a blue dot, power dot to the upside. And then, wow, look at this, green dot to here. And then of course that flip move right there. That's the one I used that screenshot on where you've got, okay, we've been, you know, lots of reds as you can see, then all of a sudden, boom, right there coming in on that king timing for the big move up to go along with it. And that will indicate oftentimes a very big shift in direction. Again, I'm talking about the big plays. I'm not talking about the small stuff. I'm not talking about target one, target two stuff. We're talking about if you're trying to catch those big, big plays, that's one right there um, to give you that visual representation of when that could occur right there. What do we got here? This is Delta King plus double cross. Very, very nice. So got the big Delta flush uh yeah and then we got the double cross so you have to ask yourself so what's the position do we continue down or do we catch the reversal um on this one i went the reverse and strictly because that's a delta king there is nothing else around it to tell me that that should be a reversal now i'm also not trying to get crazy with a trade like this because i know that that could turn into a double cross double move i've got a clear pivot scenario where this could come all the way down to this location here so all I'm looking for here is, can I get a little snap back in the other direction? You notice that I'm not trying to get big on this because I've got shorts favorable coming in, but hey, am I gonna leave money on the table? No, I'm gonna take a Delta King reversal with the double crosses, kind of pushing up in that area, but you notice my targets are inside the crosses, not behind them. Because if somebody's gonna initiate a position to the short side on a double cross, double move, right, DCDM, they are gonna be putting their stops where? Right up here. Okay. So I want to make sure I've got my targets in before we reach the back side of that because this could stay in this zone and just go straight down off of that double cross, double move if that ends up come playing out, right? This looked pretty extended to me at the time and a good spot for me to try to take a little shot at a reversal. That was the play on that one. Here is the after shot on that. Now, what did we just talk about before? We got red, 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 and then you see that right there? So this now should indicate to me after this zone, I am now going to be looking to initiate a position to the long side. 
right here anywhere yeah you know, hopefully this kind of this will probably play out like this it kind of come in gonna do one of these and then somewhere around here I want to see a green dot or a blue dot and hopefully with a cross that'd be fantastic give me a headshot in this where I can take this sucker up to the moon on the color shift from the big reds coming in red 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 all the way down then boom right there on that shift pivot in the king now I've got that big green Delta coming in to go yeah we could be starting to move this to the upside. Um, let's look at the next one. Oh, great one coming in here by the Adam Smasher. So on his play here, um, people were asking in the room, hey, how come he took this? Like, isn't this a trade nothing alone scenario? He said, uh, hey, this is only a green dot. Why is he taking a green dot by itself? Looky down here. He had a big fat delta. So this is a delta dot. Right, I'll take that as well. Now, again, I'm not gonna get big on this, so he was smart to stay small, right? He's only going two contracts, and what's his worst case scenario, right? He's like, ah, I'll take a shot at this. The position, it looks like everybody's kind of getting faked out right here. Then you get the Delta flush. Prior to that, he also had a double Delta flush to the left, so he is reading additional things to go ahead and take that green Delta, I'm sorry, that green dot plus Delta, okay? So that is a Delta dot shot up to the long side, and he had the PRZ um up here for his target very very nice play not leaving any food on the table on that one there's the play coming in uh get, he's playing with fire um hanging on to that position um you know that's where you will probably want to close out that position pretty quick there but it looks like he did get the whole thing and it snapped back up and went his direction and he got the whole piece of pie on that one very very nice from the atom smasher excellent work uh alien killer i think this is that play we looked at before double cross i'm sorry double uh he was asking about this oh somebody else was asking about this and this is somebody actually taking the play so he's got the double dot then the headshot on a king very very nice then looking over there to the left again same thing we've got the reds coming in then all of a sudden we start to shift to the greens boom now as that big green one comes in right here now we're starting to look like ah we might we might have to be reversing this position up in this area if you're wondering why it stops way up here ah uh, again i don't recommend this so alien killer and anybody else who is doing this type of thing don't do this i do not recommend ever this is listen you learn this from some other crap room okay i guarantee you you learn this somewhere else i don't do this i do not recommend this never never do this you're wasting your energy doing this where you should be focused on having your finger over the close button on any opposing signal that comes in, but you start doing this kind of stuff and you're trying to move it up and ratchet it up. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, yeah, hey, I locked in my profits. This is protecting something that doesn't need to be protected. Okay, you don't need to do this. That I do not recommend doing that. So be careful on that. Keep it back. You know, if you want to put it a few ticks above or something like that, that's fine. You know, if all hell breaks loose, but you should be focused on having your fingers over here on the close buttons rather than trying to ratchet up your stop. Okay, never a good idea. Um, I appreciate you guys who you watched one of my recent recent videos on throwing in a little blue hue I think it kind of separates your charts a little bit for you It helps the eye to separate a little tip that I had put in there So uh, some of you guys have put those in I see that captain Delta did that as well as Rick and some of our rockstar traders in the room You guys are adopting my suggestions very quickly Congratulations, you guys have been absolutely smashing it on your trades and it shows all right we are at 28 minutes so i do have more we are gonna we got lots more on these here are the last 13 we are gonna do tomorrow so this is gonna be the end of part two hope you guys enjoyed those on part three i'm gonna do some additional education content around golden ropes and things like that so come and check out part three on those and don't forget i am also giving you guys that thousand dollars off right now for the short period of time if you want to join us right now do the two-week free trial we are going to hook you up with the Black Friday offer, what we will normally do, 40% off. Plus, I'm taking an additional $1,000 off. If you guys got any questions around that, come and ask in the room there. And myself, Casey, or Curtis, one of the moderators, will get you details on how to get that. If that is interesting to you, do the two-week free trial, and we'll throw the additional $1,000 off if you get it during your two-week free trial. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G., and the rest of the gang, let's send out that big H-Town. Have a nice weekend. See ya.